Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage. Well I've got a bit of a situation here I figured I'd share with you guys. I actually just bought this Hyundai Santa Fe and when I went to test drive it didn't have a plate and it also didn't have plate screws and they actually use really small screws on these Hyundais so I tried to steal a screw out of my mom's PT uh, plate so we just both had one screw and I actually forced it in there too hard and spun the plastic uh, the little plastic retainer in there and now I can't get it out because it's spinning the plastic retainer in the metal of the door so you can see I've got all this cardboard and masking around it what I'm gonna do is heat up the screw with the torch just a little bit if I do it too much I'll warp the panel and then I'm gonna use um, I got a variety of tools here but I'm probably gonna use the channel locks that's why I got the tape around there to protect my plate and I'm going to thread the screw out and pull on it at the same time and what the heat's going to do is loosen it up in the plastic so that it comes out really easy. I'm going to somewhat solidify that plastic retainer in there. So here we'll give this a shot see how it goes. I already tried getting it out without heat using the channel locks and that didn't work. So you got to be real careful with this torch. It gets real hot. I wish I had a, a smaller torch or something but here goes. Okay guys, I had one more idea involving heat. I'm just going to try my soldering iron. Just holding it on the screw. And that way the heat will just focus on the screw and not on the body metal or anything. It's got the uh, plastic retainer insulating it but from the body metal so it shouldn't be hurting the body metal. This could take a while though. I think we're finally winning. It's hot. There we go. That is how you get a screw out if it's stuck in a plastic insert. I'll quickly get this plate off and we'll see if there's any damage beyond just a destroyed insert. I can get another one of those easy enough. I might even be able to fix this insert up enough. There we go, I was able to melt the hole back in, drill it to the size of this screw, and the other hole was already that size. These are just random screws from a Subaru, and there we go. Plate's a little messed. Okay guys, that's about it. I do hope you found this little tip helpful. Thanks a lot for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.